to see it. Jenny Slate has played and voiced some of our favorite characters in TV and film, including the beloved Oscar-nominated Marcel the Shell with shoes on. Oh, now, guys, she's got a new comedy special. It's called Seasoned Professional, where she talks about everything from motherhood to a relationship with her therapist. <laughs> Take a look. I love my therapist, and I know you're not allowed to say that, but um, I love her. I love her. I love her. Um, I love her, and I actually find that, at this point, to be the hardest part of therapy. <laughs> that, like, when the session is over, you're not allowed to be like, okay, bye-bye, I love you. You never, so... You love your therapist. Now she knows, though, because she, <laughs> now she knows. Is she watching right now? I don't know. I don't know. And I won't ask. You know, we still have some boundaries. I mean, I think it's, like, a, a good relationship with my therapist, but I did, like, clear it with her before I... I did. I did. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, it, clearly you're telling all of your innermost secrets. There's a <laughs> huge connection there. But there is a boundary thing. I have friends who are very tight with their therapists, and you it's almost like a friendship. I think we have, I think we have like a very typical therapist yeah. client or whatever, you yeah. know. Except uh, for that you love her. Except that I love her, but <laughs> yeah. I would never say it during a session. I would only say it on a television, you know, on, on television exactly. and on the internet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So one of the things <laughs> that surprised us about, about you mm -hmm. via this special is that you still get very nervous. Yeah. So much so that you actually got hypnotized. True. Yes. So <laughs> my first um, comedy special was called Stage Fright because I was just like, let's just Same. call it like it is. And then um, I did go to a hypnotist to get uh, help with the, the Stage Fright. I don't think it helped, except for that there is this phrase in my mind that he did say to me, which is like, you're a seasoned professional. <laughs> and I say it to myself every time I'm about to go on stage, even if I don't mean to, I'm like, I'm a seasoned professional. <laughs> and that's like my version of, of being a professional. And it, I mean, I am one, you know. You are Here I am. a professional. <laughs> it's so funny because you've been here a, a bunch of times with us and yeah. we watch you. And there's so many people who have this one persona where, where you're like, Jenny could step out in front of a crowd and not have a care in the world. So sometimes people think maybe this is a sign that this isn't the right lane mm -hmm. for me to be in, but not for you. No, I, there's something about performance that's like, it's not an unhealthy fascination. It's, mm -hmm. it's a beloved, dear thing to mm -hmm. me, but it is complicated. But that's also like what a lot of relationships are yeah. <laughs> generally. It's like, yeah. you know, I just love it so much <laughs> and it really kind of like gets my nervous system going. Just like your therapist. Yeah. Um, okay, you described this special <laughs> yeah. as a love story in reverse. I like that. Which I love. Mm -hmm. Tell us what that means, though. Well, what it, what it means is that instead of being like, well, I met my husband five years ago and then taking you through to now when, you know, we've had our daughter, it, it starts... Um, it starts with the birth and works backwards to how we met and also mm. the work that I had to do with my dear beloved therapist <laughs> um, <laughs> so that I could even get into a, a you know a healthy meaningful relationship with, with the man that's now my husband. Well motherhood makes you light up. There was a little girl wandering around here and you lit up like oh my god where's my yeah, mom? I know. How has that changed you do you think? I think that being a parent has really um, helped me to first of all like focus on my own patience uh -huh. and also to to realize that um some challenges have an underneath of like goodness you know mm. like you're just like this is some of this is so challenging but there's a feeling of of sweetness n sweetness beneath mm -hmm. it all that makes you just want to invest more and more mm. in, in, in that bond i guess mm -hmm. Does she gaslight you yet? yet? <laughs> I'm asking only for for to feel better about. Yeah, myself. I'm like, what's happening with you? I mean, not yeah. to be your therapist. No, no, I but... need. In fact, if you could give me your therapist, <laughs> I can't. She's mine. She's mine. Nobody gets yeah. her. <laughs> Do you use? Well, I know you know I'm obsessed with Marcel. Mm -hmm. Like we have an unhealthy obsession. <laughs> I need your therapist for that too. But do you use Marcel's voice or anything as a parent? I do. Um, yeah, my daughter will ask to talk to Marcel. Does but she, she know you are Marcel? She knows he's a, a character that comes out of me. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't, and she knows what he looks like, but she never asks to see him. She just wants the voice. And sometimes she just wants to chat with him. And sometimes, like, you know, she's a really typical three-year-old. So a lot of times she's just pretending to be a puppy and she, like, won't do anything <laughs> unless you're like, okay, puppy, can we brush your teeth? But same for Marcel. <laughs> if he's, like, 
<laughs> now it's time. You know, now it's time to oh. clean up your toys. She's like, you're right, it is. You know, she she likes him a lot. <laughs> Does she, she likes like him authority. more than... <laughs> I, th I think she thinks he's more of an authority. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I love Marcel. Okay, and we we know you have a collection of stories, which we cannot wait to read. I know. We're dying to read we, those. Send Jenny, them to us, please. Thank I'll you. Jenny's them. new comedy special, it's called Seasoned Professional. It premieres tomorrow on Prime Video. Thank, thank you, you, Jenny. Thank you. Thanks for having me.